Uh, hello everyone. Today we will discuss the type of types of Ventus cups. Okay. Now the first and foremost to come is the Malmström cup. Okay. This was originated in Sweden. Now if you see the cup is of course uh, the metal one and it has a plate inside which is connected to the chain. Okay. Now this has a outlet where the vacuum will be created and it is connected by a, a tubing and this will eventually go to the suction apparatus okay now it has a release valve here where whenever we want we can release the pressure now it's a wonderful uh, innovation uh, malmstrom actually uh, uh, kind of you know uh, uh, revolutionize the instrumentation delivery okay now in malmstrom cups the good thing is there is a good amount of distance between the cup and the operator so that you know a good amount of attraction can be generated but the disadvantage is that the somehow there will be leakage of the pressure because of so many connections involved okay now to counter this came the birds modification now if you see birds modification do not have a chain or a cup uh, a plate which is attached to the Two. Instead, the traction is applied in the center, which is not in connection with the suction tube. So what that does is, it prevents the leakage. Now the suction tube will go here. Okay. Now this will guide us where to put the cup. Now usually in an occiput or anterior position, we will see that the knob will come in the front the application is like this now this is a birds modification now birds came up with another modification which is called as occipital posterior cup now if you see occipital posterior cup the knob instead of being on the top is attached to one side okay now in occipital posterior what you do is basically you put the cup like this and you want the baby to deliver with the flexion Okay, now that is why this modification has come up. Now this is the occipital posterior cup of bird's modification. Then came the silicon varieties. Okay, now many people are not very comfortable using metal cups, though I feel that that uh, uh, fear is unfound for. But then the si silicon cups came. Silicon cups kind of you know uh, because they are malleable. They, they can be inserted very easily and can be adjusted according to the uh, position of the baby and the chignon formation is uniform as compared to the metal cups where chignon formation is only within this diameter. So the chignon formation is on a larger area so you don't have a bump on baby set as obvious as the metal cups. Now having said that the silicon cups have a kind of disadvantage in the sense that the grip is not as good as metal cup. Okay, now different kinds, different sizes of um, silicon cups are available. This is a four centimeter, this is five centimeter, six centimeter, depending on the size of the base, uh, size of the head, and so is the uh, size of the metal cups also. This is a four centimeter one. We have five centimeter, three centimeters as well. Now, another uh, um, uh, Ventus uh, apparatus which came in the four was it's called Kiwi Cup. Okay. Now this one does not require any. Uh, this one does not require any uh, external uh, apparatus, external suction apparatus. This is a hand operator. It creates the uh, Ventus on its own. And now when we apply to the head and when we start creating the pressure the pressure is indicated by the markings on on this okay now this is very good in the sense that you can adjust and it can you can carry anywhere you don't need a electricity it has a pressure release wall okay the problem is this is expensive okay and second thing is it is disposable though some people do reuse it but then ideally 
it has to be uh, dis it has to be disposed after single use and somehow i in my personal view though uh, this kiwi cup is been pretty popular in uh, europe but this cup somehow i find the the traction is not very adequate okay uh, this is the disposable kiwi type of ventus okay yes. now this cup is for uh, cesarean section this is a silicon one this is specially designed for uh, performing a head extraction uh, during the c section now why this is different is this has a small uh, handle it doesn't have a big handle so it is easy to insert okay usually i don't usually re uh, attach this well in advance usually we use the same yankur tip okay so it is easy to insert and you don't have to apply too much of pressure and it has this two finger <clears throat> grip is more than enough to extract the uh, head now i have a separate video how to use this silicon uh, specially designed cup uh, during c section in youtube you can check it out thank you